name's Charlotte and in today's video I'm going to be doing the power of makeup. I'm going to leave this side bare and do this side with makeup. As you can see I've already done my eyebrow. I know that's cheating but it takes so long to get it right and it's still not 100% how I like it. So let's get into the video. I'm going to start off priming my face. I am going to use the e.l.f. Mineral Infused Face Primer onto the back of my hand. I'm only using a little bit, but this is going to be so weird, only doing half the face. Oh, wow. This feels so smooth. And then in with foundation, I'm going to use the Revolution. Fast base foundation stick, I've got F5, here we go, oh wow, this is probably going to be too orange for me, but hey ho, let's just give it a go, and I'll probably put too much on, okay my sponge, I'll just blend that out. not the perfect shade but then again it does look quite okay that is a very buildable makeup very buildable I'm loving the colour now now time for concealer I'm going to use the collection 2000 last imperfection Pop this under my eyes. And a, few, a few blemishes. It's the first time I've properly got to use the new foundation sticks as well. Now I'm just going to put this MUA powder underneath my eyes, it is in shade 1. A big brush, I've got this so much fallout on this. I don't want a too matte face, like usually I love matte foundation, but I don't want it too matte. I'm now going to do my eyeshadow, I think. Revolution. It is the Reloaded Neutrals 2. I'm just going to take the white shade. I think there's so much you can do with creating eyeshadow looks. I think they just make the makeup. That's that shade. Oh my god, I don't even know what what, what colours to use now. There's so many colours to choose from. I don't want to do over the top look. I'm going with a burnt orange. I don't want to use too much of this either. There we go. Wow, that is just... I love this colour. Not that it's even coming up like an orange, it's coming up more of a pinky orange. Going over, circular motions. I am loving this colour. Like, wow. It is so pigmented. Not bad. What colours to use? I'm going to call another pink just to here. Wow. Ok. 
concealer. I'm going to back in with the Collection 2000 on the back of my hand. I wonder what this looks going to finish like. I totally didn't plan this, so I don't have a clue what it's going to look like in the end. Out of a brush, I'm gonna use a purpley shimmer shade, I think. Pat that on. That colour is just lush. And I've have used a dry brush too, it's not a damp brush. I don't know, the colour can vary in it. Can look more shimmery sometimes with a damp brush. It's so difficult to try and talk and do this. But I am loving it. I am loving this eyeshadow look. Definitely going to have to do this look again. Let's go back in with the pinky shade. There is so much difference between one side of her face to the other. I never knew how different I would look with makeup compared to without. The look isn't even finished. Let's just clean it up a little bit. Wow. Like. Okay. It's not broke. I might put some of that burnt orange underneath my eyes. A bit more fluffy. It'll do. It'll do. Still haven't contoured either, so let's do the contour. Revolution's makeup is just amazing. It is a Pro HD Powder Contour Light Medium. I'm just going to go in with a light shade. I don't know which shade to use. I don't want too dark or too grey. So, here goes. I love powder contours. I, had, I don't think I own a cream contour. Actually liking it so far. Revolution. Most of my makeup products are Revolution. I just love them. I think they're amazing to use. The quality is great. Ones. Let's get all bronzed up. Do love a bit of bronzer. Okay, not too bad. I'm loving the difference so far. Definitely got to wear it more often. Now for blusher, like, how many of you wear blusher? Like, it's a new thing for me. I'm usually a contour and bronzer, like, blusher. I never normally wear it, but recently. Started to get into it a lot more. Okay. Right, I'm going to do my eyelashes. 
I've got my brown eyelash gel. So I will use mascara and I will put some fake eyelashes on at some stage. I won't do my fake eyelashes on camera, like, because they take me so, so long to do. Right, so. So. Put it on them brows. Such an itchy nose. I've had a cold recently, so every little thing is irritating. I'm going to use the Maybelline. Maybelline mascaras are just lush, like, I love black, like proper dark mascaras. It is so difficult to talk while I concentrate doing this. I'm going to be back in a second. I'm just going to apply my eyelash and then I'll be back onto the lip. We're a bit closer now. My eyelash is on. So now it's time for the lips. We'll go in with the NYX lingerie. Ooh. Okay, the lips look so good with the eye look, and I'm quite impressed. I am shook at how different that actually is. It's now time for a highlighter. I'm going to be using the Barry M Liquid Chrome Highlighting Drops, and I've got Moon Potion. Wow, like. That's why. Ready. Brush is not working. Liking it. I'm gonna go for the Revolution Stripe highlight. Probably need a fluffier brush to be fair. Gotta love a good highlighter. I know I've used two different ones, but then Barry M drops just aren't for me. That is so much better. So, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, do a big thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you very much, guys. Bye. Bye. Oh, yeah.